looking at a free tweak called Color Bar. You can get this in the Big Boss repo, and it works on iOS 7 and above. What this does, it allows you to change the color of your status bar to several different colors that they have for you to choose from inside here. So in here, you have an, an enabled toggle, save and respring. Here's the theme settings, the foreground, I have set to black, which is pretty much the writing and anything inside the actual status bar. And the background I have set to white. So I'm going to change this to cayenne, which is something very bright. And I'm going to change this to white. And now we'll take a save and a respring and let you get a look at this. Nice. You see now my status bar is a very vi br bright vibrant color cayenne and we did that with the uh, color bar settings so Week in the big boss repo and if you remember just a couple of days ago we did a review of slide to reboot now that same developer dan saba i think i just butchered it but anyway has updated that slide to reboot and put it on steroids He's calling it power tap. Now all you have to do is hold your power tap power button down and you get this slider to pop up. If you tap the slider each time you each time you tap it, you get a different option. You can slide the reboot, slide the power off, slide the reboot, slide the power off. So let's go in here and check some of these settings out to power tap, reboot, respring, and safe mode. So we're going to turn them all on. Now when we go out here, hold it down, we get power to tap off, power, slide to power off, slide to reboot, slide to respring. But anyway, it's, that was safe mode, I guess. So if you go in here, here's slide for safe mode and slide to power off. So guys, that's called power tap. Check it out. Customize LS. This allows you to turn things on and off on the lock screen, such as the time, slide to unlock, the date, the chevron, anything you don't want to look at, the, the notification grabber, the camera grabber, all of that can be turned off simply by using this tweak, customize LS. Here's a list of the items you can hide. Uh, clock, status bar, LS blur, tent battery charging image cc grabber nc grabber and you can turn on the turn the time on in the status bar you can even add a custom text under the slide to unlock and let me show you where that's at it's right there see the what i put that there by by writing that in there in that little slot right there customize ls guys you may be wondering what's going on with my springboard guys it's called glowboard and glowboard is a free tweak too and it puts a tent around your icons that are running in the background it does all sorts of different things here and let me show you just exactly what i mean and if we go in here you'll see that it applies a glow to the apps that are running apps that have notifications and icons that have a numerical badge in addition apps with pending notifications will pulse slightly so that's the reason why you see my mail icon jumping and the pulsating app store and Cydia they don't jump around in the springboard but if they were on the dock they would bounce like that so that's why that's bouncing the ones with badge notifications are the ones that you see moving and you can see that they have a colored tint around all the ones that's running in the background and you can change that up if you want to change that to a different color that can be done here's your colors active colors anything listed here you can change that to and I'm not sure if it requires and it does require a respring it says so you can change up the colors all the different things you want to do just by changing the settings in there the next one we're going to look at is called swipe expander this is one of my favorite tweaks guys 
and it's in beta right now so it's free but I'm sure it'll be paid tweak very soon <clears throat> this guy what he's done he's added 52 extra shortcuts to your keyboard and if we go in here and the pink has nothing to do with this particular tweak I'll talk more about that just in a minute swipe expander if you swipe up or swipe down on a key that's two separate shortcuts so I have iPhone captain logo or URL for swiping up on the I key so if we go to the I key again and swipe up you see we get the iPhone captain URL and it's pretty handy to say the least how many times a day do you type your email address or something like that and then if you swipe down on it it's a select all and all you have to do is hit the backspace and it clears everything on this page pretty cool tweak guys swipe expander it's an awesome tweak one you will really enjoy using and getting to learn how and, and learning how to use randomly colorizes your iOS 7 user interface that's what you were seeing whenever I was in here in the keyboard now it's purple if you sit there long enough it's going to change colors again see now it looks gray and it's turning into a green so there's all sorts of different there it is green and if you sit here long enough you know it'll change again now you can change that duration right here by going to randomly and if there's any icon like if we didn't want it to to this uh, to change the color of the keyboard or some something like that we could come while we were in the notes app we could come in here and flip this on and then when we go to the notes app now it won't cut it won't work in here but it looks like it does require a respring before you can disable stuff but these are the your settings and if you wanted to increase the the, the transition make it to uh, change faster all you have to do is just drop that number now it will change much faster and the color transition delay is already at one second so that's about as low as you can go and right here you can change up different things you can change the folder icon blur too here if you want to fiddle around with the hardness and the 10 opacity on that that's going to be left up to you global blur opacity if you want to increase that all the way up randomization you can increase all that and then it would would require a respring for you to be able to pick up all those new settings that you just put in there so we'll see what it looks like when we come back okay you see we got that little slide to unlock there we got a little bit of a tent under that now if we go in here we should be able to go into the notes app and hit not and it and it doesn't work see we disabled it for the notes app so see that does work now the duration should be a lot faster everything should should change a lot quicker and all that whenever you're inside of the uh, UI here even inside Safari you'll see you'll get you're getting some some changes in here as well and it just works awesome guys the last one we're gonna look at is called HUD speed and what HUD speed does guys is it increases and decreases your HUD speed whenever you turn it on and turn it off it's how long that HUD is going to stay on the screen okay so let's go in here to HUD speed and let me show you what it looks like right here's HUD speed it says it speeds up the HUD fade out which is way too slow for my taste you can configure it under the settings by going to HUD speed right here and you see right now it's enabled to a 3 so if you turn it down on 0 let's see what happens then so now if we turn it on the HUD speed it's not staying on very long but that tweak that we got installed is probably messing this one up all right now let's try our HUD speed out whenever we push it on see it goes off immediately because we have it set down as almost as low as it'll go so if we turn that up that's going to slow that HUD down so now when we turn it on it's going to stay on the screen longer and you see it takes it longer to fade out the farther up we move that slider to the right the longer it stays on if we move it all the way down as soon as we release it it's going to go off 
it's not going to have a, a time and it stays on there. So there's the 1.6 second duration. Guys, that's called HUD speed. Oh, there's screen locker. Now, how many times have you handed your phone to someone and you were afraid that they were going to look at a picture or a photograph or something you didn't want them to see? All you would have to do is go in and enable screen locker. You will also have to have activator. So keep that in mind. If you only wanted them to see a certain page on your device all you have to do is set it to an activator the first time you do this you'll have to set up a password too and let's go back over here to this screen right here and we're going to set it up right here now right here's the activator we're going to go into activator anywhere and we're going to choose shake the device right here when i shake the device it's going to enable screen locker okay so now we're going to go over here to this screen right here and when it's enabled, it gets a little red outline around it. And you can just faintly see it right there right now. Now, you cannot swipe back and forth on this. And the same thing would happen if you opened up a photo and locked it and handed it to that person, okay? Works the same way. And to unlock, you just shake it. So you're going to be the only person that knows the activator action. So the other person won't know how to unlock it anyway. So don't think about it. All right, that. guys, this one's called Tap to Snap, and it allows you to tap anywhere on your camera to take a photograph, just like you just saw me do. Very, very useful tweak. The next one's called Status Bar Weather 7. You see up there in my status bar, I have weather, and that's coming from Status Bar Weather 7. You would need to go in here and put your W-O-E-I-D in, and you can find that if you don't know it. Just Google it, and you can set different things, like if you want to replace the carrier logo uh, with the weather info, that's going to be left up to you. The next one we're looking at is YouTube Essentials. This allows you to turn on 3G Unrestrictor and watch uh, HD videos while you're out on cell towers. You can disable or enable ads, turn off age restrictor, and when you, uh, the background enabler allows you to listen to video while the app is actually closed. So you could put your phone in your pocket and still hear a video. So that would be awesome to listen to music videos that way. And it allows you to have a white keyboard while you're inside of YouTube looking around. So if we went in here to search, you see now we have a white looking keyboard. Pretty awesome little tweak, guys. The next one we're looking at is Blur LS. And this blurs the background in Spotlight, you see right here. Normally that wasn't blurred out, but using Blur LS, that just gives it that little bit of a something special. The next one we're looking at here, guys, is now Colorful Volume allows you to colorize your HUD, volume HUD, and you can fiddle around with these sliders here until you find a color you like. Then once you find that color, you can just leave it alone, or you can even turn on randomize each time instead. And each time you pull up your HUD, it's going to be a different color. Personally, I like the randomize. You know, that's going to be left up to you. But anyway, that's called colorful volume. The next one we're looking at is called Hide New Stand iOS 7. And this just simply does exactly what you would think it does. It hides the new stand to it, uh, application. So you don't have to worry about that. And the last one we're looking at here, guys, is called Copy Note. This allows you to copy a note from the list. And if we were here, and we wanted to copy that note right there, we could simply just hold our finger on it and we would get a pop-up that says copy note, tap that, then we could come up here to the hey part and we could just paste it right in and everything that was inside that note would now be inside of this new note. That's called copy note. Guys, that's pretty awesome tweaks. Right, check them out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share this video for us, and keep coming back.